Becky, and we're from A Couple of Days Raid, and yes, we're still alive and kicking. <laughs> yes, we had a unplanned hiatus where we both got the flu, and the grandchildren, my children, got the flu, mm-hmm. and... We also had a stomach virus during that time. Oh, yes. Uh, that came first. Virus. Then came that. Then came the ear infections, and it's kind of been passed among everyone but Papa. Papa was like immune to everything, but the rest of us have been... It's, it's been some more kind of February. <laughs> yes, but we are back yes. with another weekly wine. Okay. Becky, what's the wine for the week? Well, again, one of my favorite brands is Dove Hunt Dog. Just love it. And I um, love red wine. And this is the uh, Pinot Noir from Dove Hunt Dog. Mm. Mm. It's so nice, fresh, bold, yes. uh, smooth, real smooth. We haven't, we haven't had this one before, have we? No, we have not. Oh, this is really... Okay, there's a berry that's not just a grape. What am, no. what am I tasting? Uh, strawberry, yes. red cherry. There's also plum mm. in it. So that plum is like a little different. Mm-hmm. Now, we've had wines that have had <coughs> strawberry and and the cherry in it, but there's very few who have had the plum. Yes, and that's it, yeah. very good. Um, oh, so I so this past weekend we went to the beach and I grabbed me just a bottle of cheap wine. Mm-hmm. Not the same. No, <laughs> like, no, no, no. Especially because, and I've said this before, this wine, because it's organic, because yes. it's grown without pesticides, it does not give me a headache. No. I had the biggest migraine Saturday night at the beach. It's because of the cheap wine. Because it's, it was cheap wine. Right. The the clean crafted um, commitment that uh, Scout and Cellar has is we add, there's no sugar added. And the way the grapes are processed, we don't like squeeze all the color out of it. So the color you see is the actual color from the grapes. It's not an added food coloring or dye or some other supplement that they put in there because of the way they process grapes in some in some places. And so that's why you get this deep, rich flavor and color. Mm-hmm. And it's natural, it's authentic. And that's why we say we have the clean crafted, crafted wines with the authentic taste that that's how the grapes taste. It's not from anything added to it. And it is a huge difference. I mean, um, you know, I had a wine last week that someone else gave me and it even tasted salty to me. I was like, I've never had a wine like that. So I'm not sure if it's because of all the medicine I was on or if it was the (laughs) wine itself or what. But during that time, I shared a bottle of Pinot Noir with my quilting friends because we went to Atlanta last week to right. QuiltCon. And uh, so I, we had a little mini wine tasting at the house and I, I had another bottle of this that I took and it still tasted fine. And so I don't know what it was about the other, but <laughs> I guess I'm getting spoiled by this wine. A little bit. It's very easy to be spoiled by this mm-hmm. wine. So um, I have a link on my page. So if you want to um, you know, order from us and let me know. Send me a message and I'll, we will hook you up on that. Absolutely. And if you want to be, what's it called? A consultant. A consultant. Yes. You so can. You've done really well with that. Mm-hmm. It, it's going well. Um, you know, I just, it's fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's easy. Just something to do, you know, extra. So, you know, when you've been in education for as long as I was and you're used to having thousands of people come through your life every single day and all of a sudden you retire and the only people through your life are your children and your grandchildren and your (laughs) husband. So you go from this many people to like this many people. It's kind of crazy. And so, you know, it's just another way to get out and meet people, do things different. So have fun. But it is a good thing. But um, I'm going to do the book review this week. Yes, and um, I'm excited to hear about this yes. one. Yes, this was such a cute book. I loved it. It's called Georgie All Along. 
by Kate Claiborne. I had never read Kate Claiborne before. I've never heard of her. Yeah, but she has a lot. She's got several books out there. Really? Yes. So I'm really excited about that because I love it when I find an author that has other books because that just opens it up. Oh, yay, I have found another author that I have a lot of books that I can read about, you know, from her. And it was so cute. Um, I've one day I'm going to bring my stack of books. I have a whole lot of books on my to-be-read to list that I've read the first couple of chapters because mm -hmm. when I finish one book and I go into another one, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll say, I really don't know what I'm in the mood for. So I'll pick this book up and I'll read one or two and I'll be like, mm, no, not really. So I'll go to another one. And, you know, with us being so sick and, you know, having all this medication and brain fog and everything else, I, um, I said, I need something that's just light and funny and engaging and easy to read. And this was Georgie all along. Um, it's about a, a young girl, a young woman who it, actually, she works in LA. She is an, a personal assistant to a producer. And she's worked in several with several different people. And then all of a sudden, um, her producer decides, oh, well, I'm tired of this life. I'm going to leave California, move to Arizona, out on this big ranch that we bought. And I don't want to see people. I don't want to talk to people. I just want to leave with my husband and my kid and my cows and, you know, whatever else I can, goats and whatever else I can find out there. And that's all I want to do. And so it kind of sends her in a tailspin because she's this every minute of every day she is there for this woman and she makes her life run smooth. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what the stars she works with, uh, anything. She takes care of all of them. And that's her thing is she enjoys taking care of people. And she kind of doesn't even realize that about herself. And so when all of a sudden it's like the carpet's ripped out from under because her boss is leaving. I mean, she's really in high demand. She could go somewhere else, but you know, it, it kind of just sends her for a tailspin and she thinks, well, I guess I just need to go home for a little while. And her best friend from high school has moved back to their little small town and she's having a baby. And she says, oh, Georgie, please come here and help me get my home set up and everything because we're going to have this new baby and I'm kind of feeling lost and I need help. So again, Georgie likes to help people. So that's what she does. And she gets there and she's just, she keeps thinking about her life as a blank. It's, and she's kind of freaking out, you know, what am I gonna do? What do I really wanna do with my life? It's just like, I look in the future and all I can see is this big blank page. And, you know, I had all these hopes and dreams and now I feel like I'm returning to my hometown and I'm a failure and, and all of this. And um, she runs into the guy, you know, and she thinks it's, ends up thinking it's the guy's brother. Mm -hmm. And it's the guy that he that she had this huge crush on in high school and everything. You know, she thinks it's him. Ends up being his brother and all this other kind of stuff. And and they kind of end up actually hitting it off. And um, as she's helping her friend put her house together, she comes across this journal. And that's that's you know I kind of wondered about the cover. You know, what oh, is yeah. this big pink book she's got up in her face and everything? And so as you get into it, you realize it was their friend fic as they called it. So they had a little journal that they wrote like things they were gonna do from ninth to 10th grade. You know, they were going, leaving, they were leaving the middle school and going up to the high school. And these, they were gonna make their way. They were gonna make a name for themselves. And you know, they're gonna write on the big rock in front of the school, spray painted. You know, they're gonna, there's a special place where they jump off of a pier somewhere and make a wish, write a wish on your body and jump off. All of this list of things they were gonna do to to kind of take high school by storm and everything. It turns out they didn't do any of them. Oh. But she finds this book and it just kind of releases something inside of her and she's like, okay, I, I can do this, I can do this. And it's like, she takes this book, she starts reading it and it's just like it just opens the world up to her. And she, as she develops a relationship with this man and um, she's kind of finding her way through life and kind of redefines herself. And she's just this wonderful person that everybody that knows her just loves her because, and she begins to really understand about herself that, well, it's not, 
it's not that I'm a failure. What I've done, I always like to help people. So I like to do things for them. I want to make their life easier. I, you know, I want to make their life fuller. And she said, that's not a bad thing to be, you know? Mm -hmm. And she finally realizes that just her giving personality and her, you know, the way she approaches life and to help others and things is, that's not a bad thing. That's actually a really great thing. And she kind of finds herself in there and she's got these quirky parents that are, you know, I guess what we would call old hippies and things like that. And so it's just a great, uh, <coughs> there's a rescue dog involved and, and all of these, and a big metal chicken that's <laughs> out in our mother's front yard. And just there, I mean, there's just so much in this book that is cute and funny and just, um, <coughs> I mean, it's just a great read. So five stars for sure. Absolutely. That sounds awesome. I'll have to borrow it from you whenever I get my TBR pile a little, little lower. A little lower. Yes. Well, so. anyway, just great book. Pick it up and read it. <coughs> Absolutely. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We're clearly still a little sick. <coughs> still a little under the weather there. Just a little bit. You guys have a great week. Sorry about that, folks. Y'all have a great week. See you later. Bye. Bye.